guys so going straight into the video you're going to need a mannequin head something that looks like this you're going to need a wig stand it doesn't have to be this one i'm going to show you option number two but this one i got from amazon and i'll try to link below if i find it and this is just so that you can put your mannequin head on top of it and here this is the one i was talking about this one is a little bit cheaper so you can also get this one on amazon you can screw this on like a table like so or you know something that is convenient for you also tip pins to hold down your wig cap to your mannequin head you can get it on amazon too you're going to need some of these clips to hold your head down you're going to need a thread you're going to need a needle um there are two types the cuff and the straight i like the straight better you're going to need a wig cap and of course you're going to need the hair that you're going to be using to make your wig so if you're doing a closure you're going to need a closure if you don't have a closure don't worry i got you covered i have a video on how to make a wig without a closure and i'll link it below so first you're going to put your wig cap onto your mannequin head and you want to make sure that you pin this thing down because this is just going to make sure that as you're sewing your wig, your wig is not moving around. And then you're going to place your, uh, what is it called, your closure on your wig cap and make sure that you pin it down as well. Also make sure that you pin the back down. Just make sure that you secure it because you don't want it to be moving around when you're sewing. Because um, the trick to sewing your closure is to try and make it as flat as possible. So you're going to start by putting your thread through your wig cap and also to your closure and make sure to make a knot. You see how I made the face knot? That is what you want to do just to make sure that it's well secured. Also, when you are sewing your wig, you see where the ba elastic band is. Make sure that your needle does not go through the elastic. Um i'm just sewing this on the very top of the wig like on the material that is covering the elastic band i am my needle is not going through the elastic at all now why don't you want your needle to go through the elastic this is because if it does your wig cap is not going to stretch because you're putting threads through the elastic it will prevent your wig cap from stretching so yeah that's what i'm doing you're just going to make sure that you sew one side of the closure first don't sew one side and go to the back to sew no when i get to the end of one side i cut my thread off i make a knot like two to three times cut it off i move over to the other side do the same thing before i sew the back now you don't want to sew one side the back and the other side because it might end up in your um your closure not laying flat so just make sure you do one side first and do the other side so you're able to make sure that your closure is flat laced properly before you sew the back that is just um a little tip for you um if you're a beginner i would highly highly suggest that you do it that way so see i am now sewing the other part of the wig cap sorry of the closure and i am done i'm going to cut the thread off as well tie a knot always make sure you tie a knot when you cut off your thread and then i'm going to move ahead to sew the back part of the wig which is what i'm showing you that is what i'm going to be doing now so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and sew this part and we are going we are done with sewing this closure on the wig cap Okay guys, so now that I'm done sewing down my closure, you just make sure that you pin it down just so it doesn't get on your way when you start sewing your bundles. And I'm going to start with my first bundle. If you have different lengths of bundles, you want to start with the longest length so that it will give your hair some kind of um, 
structure but the hair i was using here they were all the same bundle so yeah so what i'm doing i'm going to take a pin and pin down one side of the bundle and also onto the other side of the bundle now you would notice that i'm not starting from the very like bottom of the wig cap now i always do this on purpose people i see people start from like the very you know beginning of the wig cap and there is nothing wrong with that i just don't like to do it i like to leave a little space like say hmm, one inches i don't know the measurement but you get what i mean so yeah i'm just going to pin it down from one side to the other i really don't have a measurement on how long i decide to go also people start from the beginning of where they stopped you know where we sewed our closure people like to go all the way around which is still okay i also do feel like if you don't have enough hair you don't want to do it that way because then what it means is that you're going to end up using more hair so if you have more hair you can start from there it's totally fine there's nothing wrong with it but because i wasn't sure if my hair was going to be enough i decided to do start like halfway at the back and you know just work my way up so yeah that's what i'm doing and when you get to where you want to stop I'm just trying to tell you that I am not going to cut my weft at all. No, I'm not doing that. I am going to do the bend over method. I'll tell you where I, will, I cut my weft when we get to the top of the week. But for now, I'm going to be bending my weft over and sewing it. And also, not cutting your weft helps your hair to last longer, like prevent your hair from shedding. Um, so yeah, if you can try as much as possible not to cut unless you just really don't care then of course it's up to you You can do whatever you want. So yeah, um As per the space I leave between the first track and the second track. I just eyeball it. Honestly I don't have any measurement it all like I said depends on How much bundles of hair I have how I feel do I think that is going to be enough? I'm going to have some left if I feel like I have enough hair then oh, yeah I can show them as close as possible but if not it's better for you to have hair left than for you to get to the top and realize that you don't have enough hair and then you have to go back and start losing it trust me it happens to me at times so i just try to make sure that i avoid that so yeah um what i'm trying to show you here is that when i get to the other part i also do the fold over method and i'm going to sew it back to the other side and then i'll come back to this other side and from here onward it's simple all you need to do is just keep you know fold over so to the other side come back you know and keep going until you get to the very top so yeah that's what i'm doing just like a scene from a movie living our life on the edge and we'd never trip okay guys another little tip i want to let you guys know is when you get to the end of one bundle like so um, all you need to do is, you know, get the other bundle and start from where you stopped. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. And I usually start from the split end of the bundle, if that makes sense, where you have two ends. I don't like to start from the other side where it's just one. I like to start from the split end. So I would do the same thing like I did when I started. Um... I'll just continue from where the other bundle stop. Like there's really no big deal. Just start from where the other bundle stops. Make sure you secure it very well. Tie your knot three times or more. And you know, just continue sewing your wig and that's it. And also one thing I want to mention is that when you are sewing your weft onto your wig cap, you don't want to put your needle through the what is it called? To the weft you want to put it under the weft if you notice that's what i'm doing my needle uh, is going under my weft unless when i'm bending over like that then i will put it through the weft because i want it to be of course more secured and you know more strong but apart from that after that i'm just putting my needles under the weft i'm not putting it through the weft any longer and so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And that's another tip for you. If you're a beginner, do it that way. So yeah. So you see here, I'm using starting another bundle. And once again, I am going to join it to the old one. Like to the 
first one sorry where the first bundle stopped so i'm just going to make sure that i join it together sew it down make a knot make sure that it's strong yeah like you can hardly tell where one bundle stopped so yeah you don't want to like leave a space and do just make sure you try as much as possible you try as much as possible to sew it close to the first bundle where it stopped and just continue on from there so guys another thing is that from here onwards from this bundle i started using just one weft now the reason why i did that was because i realized that if i continue using two weft my hair will not be enough so i used one and now i am at the very top of the week now this is where we stopped like where we sewed our closure you can see that's the closure and these are the weft now when you get here make sure that you sew the weft very close together with the closure you want to have this really closed like you don't even want to leave any space nobody's going to be able to know you know where did the closure stop and where did your weft start so yeah make sure you sew the weft closer like the weft and the closure together you know if you get what i mean so that is what i'm doing and you guys, like I said, making a way a week is not that difficult. You just want to, number one, be patient because if you are starting, hmm, it might be a little bit difficult. You know, you might encounter some challenges on the way. But trust me, if you keep trying, you're going to get it. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. So, yeah, I'm just making sure that I seal everything there. And whatever I have left of the bundle, I'm going to cut it off, secure my you know my thread tie a knot cut it off and we are done making this week guys that is just it in fact this is all it takes to make a week and i hope i have been able to explain everything next you're going to cut off the material under the closure because you want your closure to be exposed you don't want to leave it like that then the, if you leave it then there was no need for you using the closure so yeah that's what I did. I cut it off and that is the material there. So yeah, um, here onwards, you just go ahead and customize your wig, you know. We are done. Like, we are done here. And I hope I was able to explain it to you guys. This is what the, the end product of my own wig that I made. I have other videos on how you can make wigs. Like I said, I'm going to try and link them below. If you do not have a closure, don't worry. I got you covered. And I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Ask your question. I'll try to answer and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.